They want traditional people, docile traditional people to move into communities, into towns where white people don't really want them. He wasn't on the list today, but he's here and he's going to have a speech, so we welcome him to come and talk. My name is Ernie Dingham, my law name is Undamuru. I'm a Wajiri person from the Western Desert of Western Australia. I speak Wajiri, I am Yamaji. A lot of our community, even mine, are up for closure. Nothing on our land, actually the land that was given to us, Wajiri people saved John Forrest's life, looked after him, set him on his way back on his, as, as an explorer. First thing he did when he came into power in WA, he gave Wajiri people a block of land, and we still live on it. We got our own power though, we got to bring our own water in, but we still there. Now there's nothing there for Wajiri people except for, for government mob. So they want to take it. They want traditional people, docile traditional people, to move into communities, into towns where white people don't really want them because they embarrass them and they want them out of town, but they don't want them where they come from simply because he's got a board of directors that most of them are mining people. But in my people the other day on Black Friday were told less than two minutes by the court, the judge, that buddy my people do not exist, their law and their culture do not exist. They are Wajiri people, same, and the same as me. Buddy my Wajiri, see we are Yamaji. I'm glad that I'm here today because back over home where all this shit is happening, a lot of them people from the bush, very docile. They do not know that what's happening here in Sydney, voice, the you mob are creating, that they will get the message at home saying they're not alone. <laughs> 50 years ago, Gough Whitlam threw sand through Vincent Lingari's hand to say that the Gurindji people have got their homeland and gave it back to them. That's a good sign, that's what we should be celebrating, things like that. I, I'm happy today from people from the Kimberley, people from the Pilbara, Maru mob from the desert, and even Noir mob from the south, and Yamaji people from the middle. We thank you for your support so far away on the other side of this island. It is one island, we are one people, and we'd like to thank all you Wedgwillers here, Manolo, Migala, whatever you want to call them. Gaba. We are all one people under this sun. We are all carry the same. The only thing that separates us is our blood types. There are only two types of people in this country, salt water and fresh water. Make up your mind. <laughs> Thank you very much for this opportunity to thank you on behalf of all the West Australian Blackfellas over there. All the Blackies over home really appreciate the fact that there is a voice on the East Coast that has given them strength, especially for the closures. Closures because they don't have any rights on their communities. Bullshit. I've been through out there with law mob. We've got laws. We just come out of camps over the last couple of months young boys getting their certificate from high school and then going out and getting their bands from business. We're not, we still practice it over there. That's still our law. Where are we going to do it? We can't do it in downtown. That'll really piss them off. So thank you very much on behalf of the Yamaji people or the, the West Australian Blackfellas and for your strength and your support. And I'm sure this message will get back to them. This message will get back. Thank you. Let's, let's rally these bastards up.